Public Service Announcement for Banks Peninsula Tree Wetter. Hi. Here at the Department of Insect Affairs, we think that as a large, ancient insect found nowhere else in the world, you're pretty special. But we also know you're suffering. When you're already dealing with the effects of habitat loss and introduced predators, who has the time to find that special someone, let alone make sure they're of the right species? Because, you see, you're not the only tree wetter species living on Banks Peninsula. While your entire species is restricted to the eastern half of the peninsula, out west and throughout Canterbury lives the Canterbury tree wetter. In most cases, your two species will never meet, but there are areas where your ranges overlap, and by now you may be aware of reports of members of your species mating with this more common species, and you might be asking yourself, what happens if this continues? Will genes from this more common species spread throughout my species until there are no pure members of my species left? Am I going extinct? <coughs> well, fear not, because members of our department are striving to make sure you're not wasting your valuable reproductive resources. <laughs> our team of experts have taken survey data from a number of surveys across the peninsula and using computer modeling techniques can now predict areas where the two species are most likely to interact, and therefore where hybridization is most likely to occur. Our officers have gone further by taking DNA samples from individuals across the peninsula and using highly variable DNA markers can create a unique DNA fingerprint for each individual sample. Because the markers are so variable, it is easy to distinguish between species and therefore apprehend any hybrid suspects. And you'll be happy to hear that the hybridization problem might not be as bad as you'd think. While hybrids were found and appeared to be fertile, only four out of 301 individuals sampled showed any evidence of hybrid ancestry. Furthermore, when we look at the genetic similarity between individuals, we see that members of the same species grouped closely together while members of the two separate species remain distinct, despite occasional hybridization. And this suggests that the chances of the Banks Peninsula tree wetter being wiped out by hybridization from the Canterbury tree wetter remain relatively low. So relax at your wetter and be assured that our department is working hard to see your conserved for generations to come. We now return you to your regular scheduled programming with everyone's favorite DIY show, Wetter in the Workshop. Thank you.